In 2019, my family and I took a trip to Montreal. We would, of course, take in many sites in this beautiful city, but the key destination for us was St. Joseph's Oratory. This is the largest church in Canada and a truly magnificent structure to behold. Even more than the building, however, was the person behind it. St. Andre Bessette is a personal hero of mine, and I really wanted to see this place that he called home, both in life and now in death. St. Andre had an immense love for St. Joseph. This diminutive and unassuming man was blessed with the ability to heal many of those with infirmities who came to visit. And yet, he took no credit for anything that he ever accomplished. All miracles, all blessings, were attributed directly to St. Joseph. When you invoke St. Joseph, you don't have to speak much. You know your Father in Heaven knows what you need. Well, so does his friend, St. Joseph. Tell him, if you were in my place, St. Joseph, what would you do? Well, pray for this in my behalf. St. Andre loved and admired St. Joseph, but he was far from being alone in this regard. In this sixth and final video reflection on St. Joseph, we'll get a sampling of the thoughts and words of other holy men and women who put their trust in this great saint. It is true that the other saints enjoy great power in heaven, but they ask as servants and do not command as masters. St. Joseph, to whose authority Jesus was subject on earth, obtains what he desires from his kingly foster son in heaven. I took for my advocate and comforter the glorious St. Joseph and commended myself fervently to him. His aid has brought me more good than I ever desired to receive from him. There is no doubt about it, just as Jesus Christ wanted to be subject to Joseph on earth, so he does everything the saint asks of him in heaven. Above all, I most strongly urge you to ask him for three special graces, forgiveness of sins, love of Jesus Christ, and a happy death. St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Teresa, and St. Alphonsus all recognize the love and reverence that Jesus had for St. Joseph. Our Lord had a reason for elevating both St. Joseph and the Blessed Virgin Mary, and is greatly pleased when we also show them our respect and our love. Oh, what a great saint is the glorious St. Joseph. He is not only a patriarch, but the prince of all patriarchs. He is not simply a confessor, but still more, for his life contained the generosity of the martyrs and of all the other saints. St. Joseph is the best protector to help you in your life to penetrate the spirit of the gospel. We are able to see all the greatness of St. Joseph, not only by reason of the fact that he was close to Jesus and Mary, but also by the shining example he has given of all virtues. St. Joseph, with the love and generosity with which he guarded Jesus, so too will he guard your soul. The Holy Virgin and St. Joseph are in perfect accord. They are not in competition, and in heaven there is no jealousy. And finally, I'd like to end on two quotes that remind us of St. Joseph's unique blessing bestowed upon him by God. Many of us spend time in Eucharistic adoration. We desire time with Jesus and we gaze upon him with love. This is the life that St. Joseph experienced every day for years. He kept the Christ child close to him and protected his very being. Nothing was more important to him than Jesus and Mary, and he lived a life of commitment to them. Adore the word present in the altar, born as a little child for you. No matter what you do, your adoration will never equal in worth that of St. Joseph. St. Joseph served the incarnate word with perfect fidelity. Think of the lively faith which inspired his uninterrupted contemplation of the divinity of the Christ child. Think of the love and faith which he adored his God hidden in this little child, whom he held in his arms and carried about always with the respect due to God. As we close, be reminded of this dutiful life of St. Joseph, his desire to serve God at all costs, and his humility to perform his role in the shadows. Let us imitate that approach during this year of St. Joseph and well into the future. St. Joseph, spouse to the Virgin Mary, earthly father to the Word made flesh, and patron of the Universal Church. St. Joseph, pray for us.